Well, Rancho, I guess it was about 1983. I uh, applied for a job here at Rancho and, oh man, just thinking about this takes, takes, takes me back and there was a gentleman working here then that was in charge of all of the, the sports and things. His name was Harold Freeman. And anybody at that time that came through here had to come through Harold Freeman. Um, there was several, several directors that, that Harold worked under. Uh, I can re remember Pam Bryant, can't remember the gentleman's name before him, but they all helped me get in here and work over here. So I, I just started coaching. So I've been coaching a long time. Rancho has a lot of rich, rich memories. Most of the staff here that's present here today played for me at Dorsey High School. I coached JV basketball at Dorsey High School for num numerous years over there. A lot of athletes have came through Rancho, came directly to Dorsey High School and did well. Before there was a gym, there was an AM and a PM crew that played on the outdoor courts. Some of the legendary players of old time played outside, such players as Jerry Chambers, Dick Barnett played out here, Gus Williams, all those cats would come and play. So uh, Rancho was the place to play. Back in those days, Rancho had a good name, but the park that everybody feared in this area was Vineyard Rec Center. And, and, and uh, a friend of mine was coaching there named Chris Butler. And him and Harold and myself were very good friends. We, we, we went out a lot, we went to parties, we did everything. Harold was a good guy. Harold always promoted me. Uh, when, when, when the kids uh, would come to Rancho, he would tell certain parents, I'm gonna put you on Tiny's team. Uh, it would be a kid that would be either challenged the, with, with a learning disability or maybe even a limb missing or something like that. He trusted me because I taught fundamentals. I, I, I uh, went to Jefferson High School. I played for Larry Hansen, one of the winningest coaches in California history back in the day. And then I ended up coaching under Willie West and Reggie Moore. So I learned some basketball skills and I was, was eager to share it with the children of the community. And uh, Harold gave me that opportunity. Uh, I played the game. I, I really, I, 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 I'm from Fort Smith, Arkansas, and where I come from, basketball is like, it was, it was the sport. There was football, there was baseball, but in my community, it was basketball. I live right next door to Ron Brewer. Not the son, but the daddy. We used to call him Boothead. And we had many battles with Moncrief and Marvin Delph. You know, you know those names. That was that great Arkansas team back in the day. So I just had it in me. My uncle was an all-city, all-conference guy down there in the country. So we had to, we had to walk in his footsteps. So myself and my cousin, who they thought was my brother, we kind of did really well in Arkansas. But I moved out here in 1965 during the Watts riots and uh, burn baby burn was that's all i heard in the black smoke in the sky my dad lives close to downtown so national guards and it was just a new experience for for me so but i've always had to drive for sports i had all the all the balls in my neighborhood i had everything so i was coaching really at a younger age than 13 because i had all the stuff and i get mad i take my stuff home but uh i just have a genuine love for the game and i think it is, it's attributed to the coaches that i've had a chance to learn basketball under some people you know they say they learn on their own but i i give praises to the people that i i was connected to and learned how to really coach this game <laughs> My uncle was my first example. He was a very intense person. But when I moved out here, I went to Jefferson High School and my coach was Coach Larry Hansen. He was the, one of the toughest coaches to play for, very serious, a uh, friend of Johnny Wooden's, could have been a coach at UCLA if he wanted to, but he told Johnny every time he win one, 
I'm going to win one. And he had eight city titles. At one time, he was the winningest coach at one time. He was also my homeroom teacher in high school. So I give a lot of my knowledge to him because he was very thorough. We had to be in the gym at lunch and nutrition, playing basketball, some kind of games that he figured out. Uh, and then I got lucky and got a job at Dorsey High School under Coach Dave Gordon. He gave me the JV team there. I coached there for a number of years. Coach, Coach Gordon was a good person. Uh, he generally cared for his players. Uh, then after that, I, I was uh, at Rancho, here again, at Rancho, the greatest place to be, at a baseball game. And, and, and Reggie Morris walked up to me. Coach Emanuel had just won a state title, but he had got the job at LACC. And uh, they were redoing the program. They didn't even have a program. So we kind of like started that program up, led the nation in scoring for two years, 104 points a game. Here again, some of the kids that came out of Rancho was on that team. Marcus Nash, Anthony Thomas was on that team. Uh, uh, Chris Smalls, DeVale Walker, some manual arts state championships. So it was a combination of really good players. So I learned a lot from Coach Morris, how to coach defense, how to teach defense. I couldn't wait to bring it back to the Bulls. And that's how we played. We played like a manual team. And then I got blessed again, and I got a chance to coach at Crenshaw High School for five years as the head JV coach. And Willie West, the best coach that ever coached in California history. I, I, it was a pleasure just talking to him. And to this day, I still communicate with him through uh, the media, you know, Facebook, Instagram, those things like that. And, and, and uh, I've learned a lot from Coach West. But then, even after that, I get blessed again. Joe Weekly gets to be the player personnel coach in uh, China. And I get a chance to coach as a pro coach in China because of Joe Weekly. Never made that much money in my life coaching $5,000 a month. At that time, the exchange rate was 8 to 1, 800 renminbis. That's the slang for yuan. But uh, it was a nice experience. All those coaches are Hall of Fame coaches to this day. And, and I thank God for letting me be uh, uh, having them in my life because I, I understand uh, 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 predestined. It, it was already, God don't make mistakes. People come in your life for certain reasons. And uh, Harold Freeman was the one that really got this going. He would always promote me. Uh, he's, he's dealing with some life issues right now, but Harold is, will always be the man that started things here. Before they had a gym, him, Alvin Rambo, uh, uh, Ralph Jordan, just dropped the torch over here. We've had some great people come through this rec center. So this is a mecca. This is the best place to play. I still, to this day, bring teams to the Rancho League because of the competition.